What's up? <coughs> Whoa. What's up everyone? It's Trevor back with another video and I am about to go take my first test ever. It's anatomy, you guys already know. I've been feeling really sick, but my sore throat is almost gone, which is great. Now it's all in my uh, nose and sinuses, so I still sound a little funny, but honestly, I don't feel as bad uh, as I have been this past weekend and past few days, so I've done the very best I could studying, and it's just time to go take it. Wish me luck. Just walked in the door from taking the test and let me tell you, I am mentally exhausted, but I think they went pretty well. There were a lot of questions. I feel like it went one or two ways. I would get to a question and I would either know it right off the bat and throw down the answer or it was just something that I completely didn't study. So. I don't know. I feel good about it and I feel like I prepared as well as I could have for that um, for that test, but I guess we'll see when the scores come out. Hopefully I did well and hopefully everyone else did well too. We had a kind of a 10 or 15 minute rant session about the test after we were done, everyone that took it together. So uh, I'll keep you guys posted with how it goes. Um, the rest of the day is going to be getting sushi and then studying again for a test, for a quiz I have tomorrow, but the, it's for oral anatomy. Um, but we don't have any tests in that class, so this quiz basically is the test. So it's going to be another long night of studying. So it's Tuesday. I just got back from a much needed gym session because today has been a roller coaster of emotions. So you guys know I said yesterday that um, my whole entire night was going to be spent studying for a an oral anatomy quiz that was really important because we don't have any tests. Guess what I got on that? A freaking 50. I got There was 10 questions and I missed 5 of them. Honestly, <clears throat> I feel like I knew the material a lot better than a 50 and but she there were just one one question i made a mistake like a stupid mistake so that was my fault and then the other four questions that i got wrong were they just happened to be random facts that i didn't study so that was really frustrating i spent the whole morning just being angry at the world hating everything and then someone messaged in our we were sitting in the middle of class and uh we have a big group uh, chat going with the whole entire class and someone said that the anatomy exam grades are posted from Monday uh, and so <clears throat> everyone rushed on their computers try to they looked at their scores and our class average was an 87 so everybody killed it which was so awesome um, I'm super super pumped for everyone in the class and I did really well too so I was really excited really happy that all of my hard work plus being sick um, didn't that being sick didn't hurt me and that all my hard work paid off and I feel like I actually belong here in dental school and it's something that if I work hard I can really excel and become a, uh, a really good dentist so I was really happy about that and then in my last class clinical evaluations where they teach us how to integrate um, being a practicing dentist while uh, using all the scientific research that's coming out to help improve our care to our patients. We had a pop quiz in that class and I was feeling so not prepared. I thought I was going to get another 50 and I was just like, there's no way I can get two 50s in a single day. I don't think I, I've, I've gotten like two 50s in my whole entire life. Anyways, I ended up getting 100 on that pop quiz. So it was just an up and down day. But you just got to roll with the punches. There's nothing nothing you can do when you get a bad grade. And <clears throat> so that quiz in the oral anatomy was actually 6% of my whole entire grade. So it dropped me 3%. Um, so the way I look at it to not cry at night, instead of starting out with 100 in that class, I'm just starting out with a 97. So there's still a possibility to get an A or a good grade in that class. I just have to work really hard the rest of the semester and fingers crossed I can pull it out. And then to top the day off I went in and drilled just uh, right before I went to the gym and you guys know I've been kind of struggling when it comes to drilling on the real typodont teeth. I finally had a cavity prep come out uh, almost perfectly. Obviously it's not perfect but for where I'm at right now, it was basically perfect. So I was really excited. I feel like I'm getting the hang of using my handpiece, learning how to um, control the speed of the um, of the burr so it cuts more or less depending on what I need it to do. I can polish in some areas, but 
it was it was a huge confidence booster and hopefully I can keep improving because I still have a long way to go to get um, to get to where I want but it was a step in the right direction and gave me a really big confidence boost so next week we have three tests coming up well we have two two real tests and then another one of those oral anatomy quizzes which you guys know I'm gonna try to go ham on and study for as much as I can because I have to kill it that's on Tuesday and then on uh, Thursday Wednesday or Thursday I can't remember we have back-to-back -back, uh, tests in bioclaim you guys know I freaking hate that class and karyology is the second midterm which basically I don't really know what I'm, what that test is going to be about. I haven't really looked at it, so definitely need to spend some time doing that. But three big exams next week. It's going. The grind has started. Everyone in our class is just. We don't have time to breathe, but that's what it's all about. We're gonna knock all this stuff out, and uh, we're all gonna do well. So it's going to be a, an exciting week, long week, putting in a lot of hard work. But once it's done, we kind of get. Uh, I think about a two week break with no exams. So that's kind of nice. All right, I'm going to end this video here, but I just want to thank you guys for watching. I know this video was actually kind of boring. Uh, I thought it was kind of boring when I was editing it. It was just a lot of me talking. I'm uh, just really busy this week, and next week's going to be <clears throat> kind of the same because I'm, I've got those three tests coming up, and I will try to keep the content as interesting as possible, but obviously school is first. And also, I know a lot of you guys are coming to interview on the 30th, so that's this weekend, I think. And I'm excited to meet you guys. If you are coming out and haven't told me, let me know. I will set aside some time and uh, meet with you guys when you're on campus. I'm super pumped for that. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.